Hi, welcome to the Oliver Fetter YouTube channel. Today, I am trying a slightly tweaked tune on last time I took my car for a test drive. About to go pick up an AC unit. Thought it couldn't be a better time to rip a quick test drive with some different tune conditions. So the only thing I'm changing is what I call drive to boost ratio. Now, a quick recap, I'm running a VNT turbo on my 1984 VW 1.6 liter diesel and we're controlling the VNT turbo entirely with Arduino code and a linear actuator. We have two pressure signals that it reads, a drive pressure signal which comes from the exhaust manifold and a boost pressure signal which comes from the intake manifold. Now with these two signals, the Arduino code analyzes them and then makes decisions what position it should be in to control the vanes properly. My drive to boost ratio is actually controlling what the drive pressure acceptable limit is with respect to boost pressure. So the way this current tune works is that it always holds six PSI, no, five PSI of minimum drive pressure. So when you're idling, there's not, but it basically holds it up to five PSI. And then let's say you press the gas more than that, it would still stay around five PSI. Insert drive to boost ratio. Basically the way the math works is that the drive pressure limit is equal to boost pressure times or divided by this number. So initially I was over one to 1 1.5 and that was really sluggish you can imagine because we're basically telling the car it's not allowed to have a higher drive pressure than a boost pressure. And that basically just means it's hard to spool the turbo because you're not allowing it to really kick that turbo in the butt. This new setting is 0 0.5. I've tried 0 0.8 as well. 0 0.8 was still kind of slow. So, so at 0 0.5, the boost pressure can be or the drive pressure can be twice the limit of the boost pressure that the car is reading. So if the car is reading, say, 5 PSI, it'll allow the, boot, the drive pressure to be 10 PSI. Uh, so it's a little bit more aggressive. It should allow for better turbo spool. I'm going to keep tweaking this ratio and going on test drives until I find one where the turbo spool is really fast, but I still get that nice uh, kind of linear curve to pedal response. That's the whole point of this. And then there's still a maximum boost pressure that it can hit, which I was using as 17 PSI last time I went for a drive. So today, probably gonna leave the 17 PSI max, gonna leave the five PSI min, and I'm just changing the boost to drive ratio to 0 0.5, which means the drive pressure should effectively be double the boost pressure until it hits its maximum. Super excited to see how it goes. It should be faced today, or faster than it was last time. Off we go. Okay, so all I gotta do to reprogram my Arduino is plug it in, have my program ready, and just hit upload. And it's done uploading. That was it. Unplug it and plug it back into the car so that it'll run properly when the car is on. We're doing something a little different. I got the microphone in the car with me. So I can give a little bit of commentary on how I'm driving. Very less how I'm driving, more like how the car's driving. Anyway. Just gave the pig a bath. ultimately make this tune a lot better is if I raise the minimum drive pressure to like six or seven that would make the response time better off the line like in first gear it's still pretty slow right now 26 psi is my boost limit and 18 is my drive pressure limit I think a drive pressure is going to matter more. We're in third gear. That was pretty fast. It was alright, actually. It wasn't that fast.
maybe the drive pressure can even go up some more. which is looking for a little bit of a longer test drive. We only got one, two pulls in. Da, 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 do, 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 do. Uh, so let's see, so let's see notes. I mean, way better with the ratio of 0.5. That was quite nice, honestly. Still quite a bit of drive pressure when you're cruising, but I feel like that's okay, honestly. But I think maybe the thing to try would be like a 0.6 or something in that neighborhood. With more drive pressure. Would be interesting. You know, with third gear. not quite eaten like I'd like to see, which I'm curious what I need to do to bring that up. If I just need to increase both my limits, like let drive pressure be 25 as well? Probably. That's probably the thing to do. I'm gonna try a higher minimum setting, I think, of like 6 or 7 would be nice. Maybe a ratio of like 0.6 and then crank the drive pressure up to like 25 as well and see what this thing will do. Because I think right now, at 17 PSI drive, expecting it to boost pretty hard off of that is a little bit unrealistic. But I'm learning more each time I take the car out. It's been pretty fun so far, so I mean, I'm not complaining. So I'll keep picking away at these tunes. I'll keep posting videos of tuning it because I think they're pretty interesting. Basically, just playing with turbo response and seeing what you get out of that. But at any rate, thank you for watching. This is the Olive Fitter YouTube channel. Tune to my VNT Turbo, more bits to come. Cheers.